Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 14. Inside this video, we are going to actually continue all about components class and inside this video, we will discuss about inline components. And also guys, if you are looking up the blog articles of KKPHP4, Codeigniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, so you can find all the related articles inside this blogging website. Now if I back to browser, this is onlinewebtutorblog.com. Here you will find all about blog articles with interesting contents. If we click on this blog menu, you will redirect it on the blogs page. Recently we have added create an article section. This is for guest post submission. If we go inside these categories, right now we have Codeigniter 4, WordPress, CakePHP 4. So inside each categories, we have too much interesting blog articles. Recently, these are recently posted blog articles over Codeigniter 4 and their interesting topics. Back to the topic. So inside this video, we will discuss about inline components. So first of all, we need to understand before use that is what is actually mean by inline component. So you have noticed that while creating component by the help of artisan command called php artisan make component, two files get created. One is the component controller file which resides inside this app directory if you go inside this folder structure one file inside this app folder inside this views folder and here we have called a components folder which is automatically gets created and this is our class file and the second file is all about component layout file which is inside resources folder views folder and here we have the components folder so two files get created but sometimes when we don't need actually this view file layout we want all the functionalities should be managed from a single file that is from controller file like what we have inside this components and ls.php so to manage all the functionality for controlling the component as well as rendering the layout or let's say rendering the content is managed by a single file is simply called inline components. So how can we create? Simply back to our terminal. Let's say that php artisan make component and here we will create let's say message box this is the name of the component class and if we want to make this message bo box co like component or inline component simply we need to pass a flag that is inline after typing this inline flag the two files functionality will be managed from a controller file of this component so if i press enter component created successfully back to editor get rid of all these opened files collapse all the folders let's see first all about the generated files go to app directory so app view component and inside this actually we don't have alert hyphen let's say reload this and as we are getting message.box.php this is the file what we have generated and for the layout if we go and search inside this resources folder views folder components folder so as we can see that we are not getting any layout file for this message box component why because inside this message box component class if we go and see inside this random method actually this time we are loading our like contents by the help of this inline layout code here we have the html code as we can see but inside for the others what we have created like for alert message here actually we are entering all about the layout file which is inside components folder so the next question we have that is there any change 
while using this inline components so answer will be no there is no change we can use as what we had seen inside previous videos simply if we go inside this views folder here we have about.blade.php let's say that I need to use the message box what we have generated so simply x hyphen message hyphen box and here we can pass our value so let's say that we are passing name and let's say the name of the component I am writing here so this is message box to receive this value press ctrl b open up inside this app directory let's say message box .php. and here to receive that value we had seen in the last video that is here we need to declare a variable called public name this is for the attribute value here we are taking the name what we are passing while defining this component tag so this is the name value we are receiving inside this name key so let's say this name it means we are going to initialize this variable here so this name equal to name what the value we are getting inside from this name we are putting inside this variable now to use simply go here and let's say that what we had seen to print our value curly pairs and let's say name here if I wrap inside this h3 tag so simply here we have written save these changes we have called inside this about.blade.php go to the route and if I type let's say about hyphen s and I think that development server has been closed so let's first restart that start it go and reload and as we can see that this is message box value what we have passed inside by using our name attribute so it works same again go here let's say that this time we are making as a non-empty tag so what I will do simply we are going to pass some contents inside it here we have made the opening tag and the closing tag of component now here let's pass some data so this is another component that is we have let's say inline component now if you see to receive this value we have now idea that is we need to use a slot variable within s3 tag again let's say we are going to use this slot variable save these changes go and reload this page and here we have some error that is unresolvable dependency resolving and this is because I think that we have used the name here but actually we have removed from here so let's say name equal to message box after calling this variable it actually not found inside this tag that's why we are getting error so reload this page this is the value of name attribute and this is rendered component means our slot content again if you are looking to define like inner slots here let's define inner slots inside this so how can we define simply let's say x hyphen slot we need to pass name attribute so let's say my message my message inside inner slot if we see to receive this value because this value is not get inside this slot key so to receive this value we need to use the value of this name attribute of this inner slot copy that go here let's define any of the tag to use it curly pairs and put that keep in mind this is a variable so if we save back to browser reload that and my message inside inner slot so successfully guys step by step now we have completed inline components
so we have discussed too much for the components class components videos for the level 8 so from the next video we will discuss something different topics so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day